Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Delicious Emily's Wonder Wedding. So in the last part, Emily came back to Ireland for like the billionth time it feels like and saw that Patrick had indeed hurt his leg, but he had been found and he was safe and sound. So now Patrick is on a mission of his own, it seems like, to make a dream wedding for them in Ireland. He's invited her entire family back to Ireland and is trying to keep them hidden from her. Let's see if he succeeds. Mistake on the lake. What is this? Dad, you made it. Oh, how's your mother? Is she still seeing that accountant? No, mom broke up with him a while ago. Frankly, I don't think she's very happy these days. I made a terrible mistake putting my career before my marriage. Don't you make that same mistake. That's a promise. I, oh, oh, dad, here she comes. Hide quick. Oh, Patrick, that's so sweet. But can I take a rain check? I overslept and I'm late to help Flannery. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, sure, no problem. Phew, what else can happen? Run! Oh! <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Oh gosh. Honestly, I thought that the dad would have divorced that woman because she's such a freaking, ugh. Maybe that's why she's hating on their marriage so much because she's just not happy. Like, she just doesn't want them to get married because I guess, I mean, I guess she wants to see her son happy, I suppose, but it sounds like that she just is really unhappy herself. So maybe she, in a way, doesn't want to see her son get married. Who knows? I, for one, think that's a bit ridiculous, but stranger things have happened. She can barely see that mouse. Here we go. I also just put two stakes on. Oh crap, I didn't mean to check him out so quickly. Okay. Goodness. Okay. Um, I don't know. And then check out. There we go. Right, getting a lot of combos without even really trying. Okay, one, two, three. Gosh, this place is really pretty to have a wedding. And I'm pretty, I'm like, so Patrick's being like super romantic. And I know that the kind of irony is supposed to be that everyone was telling them to kind of work things out together. But I mean, so Patrick probably should have listened to Emily in the first place that he, that she didn't like his ex 
fiance, girlfriend, whatever she was around, and the fact that he didn't tell her about her, you know, I mean, they should have sat down and talked about it. Like, hey, yeah, it's over. I'll tell Iris. If she doesn't get the hint, I mean, I don't know really what to tell you, but... You know, plus, also, that stupid penny was, like, clouding everyone's judgment. I feel like, so... That definitely did not help matters. There we go. I'm gonna go put some more cake on here. Ooh. Oh gosh, I need banjo and flute, and then two roses. Should I wait? Yeah, I should. It's just gonna take me two seconds. I love how it keeps having to remind you of like what to do. Like, oh, here, you have to check out. Like, I don't need you to keep telling me that I need to check them out. I know I need to check them out. I just don't want to check them out. I'm waiting for combos. Good grief. Okay. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna make this uh, episode be a double up of the um, little ch parts that are going on here. I don't know if I'll have time, but we'll see. Uh, Patty, restaurant is closed. Okay, um, let's do that and get the balloon. And then get that again. And then let's get the patty. There we go. Nice. We've reached expert the past couple parts. I'm pretty impressed. There we go. I love how Flannery has three restaurants. Oh, no. First one, Snugford. Snugford. Then Ireland. Snugford. Now Ireland again. What's going on here, Patrick? Somebody finally says it. Somebody finally is making sense around here. And it's the daggone mother-in-law that I can't stand. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. First we're in Snugford, then Ireland. Snugford, now Ireland again. What's going on? He's in love, Mom. That's what. Whatever happens, please don't let Emily see you. Don't be ridiculous, Patrick. Why, I never... Uh, Patrick, what's all this about? Oh, uh, Flannery and I are auditioning people to play ghosts in the haunted house he's putting together. He didn't mention anything to me about a haunted house. That's because I'm handling it. Okay, folks, don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> oh my god. Now, you said something earlier about a rain check. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Uh, but yeah, is the mother the only one with common sense around here? I mean, seriously, like, who has the money for that? Ugh. Okay. Um. This barbecue makes cooking much more fun, and what is fun goes faster. I wonder if this makes Patrick come and make the barbecue stuff. Let's buy it just to see. Probably not, but if it goes faster, I, I approve. I approve. Oh no. What is she here for? This place brings back such bittersweet memories. My goodness, it's a lucky penny! If only I'd thrown mine before our wedding. Maybe Patty and I... Hmm. <gasps> oh my god! Dorian? Is that you? Emily, 
early. You're early. Uh, or Doria just happened to be looking, be in town looking for work. I am? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? That's great. You can work here taking photos of our customers. I, I guess. <sighs> hey, sweetheart, would you mind doing me a favor? Anything. I want to dry some flowers to take back with us. Could you gather some for me? One basket of flowers coming up. Oh. Okay, yeah, no one mans the girl. Emily's supposed to do all the work. That's great. Okay, I got that in there. Like little martinis, it looks like. Okay, check her out. Uh, oh gosh. Alright, we gotta hurry up and get all this stuff. There's the mouse. Let's grab as many flowers as we see and just throw them in there. Because I found six. Okay, one, two, boom, boom. Oh, crud. It's not what I meant to do. Okay, check them out. Okay, um, we need to look for more flowers. And I'm not seeing any at present, which is a little concerning. Why can I not find anything? <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed that I can't find the stuff that I need. Like, it's really starting to get on my nerves. Okay, let's just keep looking. Oh, there we go. Here they are. Gosh, they blend in way too well. Like, you really cannot see them. Which is more than a little annoying but I found them so it's okay all right I really am still like butthurt that I didn't complete that one event that really makes me mad because I could not find that thing and I bet you it was like right over here and I just couldn't see it because it blended in which is aggravating in and of itself So I wonder how the heck we're going to get the dress because I'm pretty sure her sister bought that dress for the an their anniversary or whatever it was. And now the one woman has that moth infestation. So how is she going to get a dress? Because we picked a dress out in the very beginning of the game. And I have a feeling that, of course, it's going to come back into play last minute. Which I liked that she like wore his mom's dress. That was really nice. And I thought it was kind of pretty, but I guess she really didn't like it because obviously it wasn't the dress she wanted. And yeah. But now, so what's going to happen with Patrick's mom and dad? Are they going to get back together? Like, I don't know. She made it sound like that she didn't really want to leave him, but he put the career first or something. I don't know. Like, she's such a bore of a woman anyway that I really kind of don't want to see her have a happy ending. Sorry, <laughs> it might be really horrible of me, but I just don't because she just makes me so angry. Like, I really want to see... Um, I don't know, I almost want to see her and Emily get along because we've never really resolved the whole... Like, Patrick told her off, but, you know, he didn't ever really say, like, do you accept us? And she never really accepted him. And we still haven't cleared up the whole thing with Iris. So I wonder what's going to happen with that. One, two, three. Hmm. Strange things. Okay. I'm 
pretty much calling these mojitos, and I think that's a Bloody Mary, even though I don't think there's technically supposed to be alcohol in this game, because it's supposed to be kid-friendly, but, you know. Okay. Let me readjust myself here. Um, get the steak. I wish someone else would cook this like they did at Snugford Manor. <laughs> That was really exciting. I can't even see the little girl's face over this counter, so I can't really tell if she's getting angry or not. And I totally didn't... Oh, makes me mad. It's okay, we'll still hit goal. Hopefully. I love their little... I love their little Irish jigs. They make me so happy. There we go. All right, I love these basket of flowers. I wonder if that's gonna be made for the bouquet because we don't have that bouquet anymore that we made for uh, Ashling. Ooh. There's just so much going on that I don't really understand. Like I feel like I feel like I know the story, but I feel like I have to have the story explained to me at the end because I'm just so like lost. <laughs> oh gosh. It's ridiculous. I wonder what Patrick is gonna make with those flowers. Probably a bouquet. Patty? Bridget. I was just reminiscing about our trip to Lady Mary as well. I remember it looking faded and worn last time I saw her. Someone's restored it. You, you come here too? Every chance I get. Ah! Oh! No, no way. Oh, Patrick, I love Snugford, but part of me wishes we could stay here forever. It's so peaceful. Oh, hmm, that voice sounded familiar. All right, you know, Emily, this lake is getting way too crowded. Let's go somewhere else. I hope they brought Emily's wedding dress. Oh, oh. yeah. So he does know about the dress, but does he know that that's the dress that she wanted? Like, did anyone ever figure that out? Okay, um, we have the polls, and we'll go ahead and do the, um, Emily, the children want a picture of themselves with you. Can you make time between serving? Sure. What? Dory and the wedding photographer. Inviting the wedding photographer and completing all the challenges will allow you to make the perfect wedding photo. Dorian has set up a photo booth in the restaurant. Can you send him to the children in time and still complete the target score? Uh... Okay. Okay. Um, that was weird. So we had two of the same person? I don't get it. I don't know. Alright. Um, it's like a crooked thing there. It's kind of slanted. I'm sure we don't want someone to fix that up first. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. Well, that's going to be the scary thing is the children coming into order because I'm going to have to make sure. Is it just children? Yep, there's a child. Oh, she goes to them first. Okay. All right. Um, go there. I think that one, the first child kind of glitched, I think, because it, I don't know, maybe it was just me. There we go. All right, uh, two cakes, two Bloody Marys coming right up. 
Um, we need that, and then a burger. And then we'll just throw a steak on there while we're up here. Get the child. Okay, works for me. I'm about to grab the mimosa, or mimosa, the uh, Bloody Mary. All right, awesome. We'll go top off the cake. This is so odd. So we're now we're inviting all the crew that's supposed to be in the wedding, like all the vendors that we would need. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Um. We can't use, okay, so we can't use him as a, that's fine, I guess. I don't understand. I don't, I didn't, haven't really used him anyway for anything else, so. Okay, let's go chop off the cake. Because the cake is like... Because not even the fish on Guillaume's farm or anything like that was is such a big seller as this cake. Like, it's like a wedding cake. And it's really... Annoying. <laughs> I wonder when it starts being eligible to be extra tasty. Because I've noticed that there's not a meter for that. Is it after you sell a certain amount? Because I sold a lot of cakes, so, I mean, I don't really... Oh, gosh. Okay. Go up there. Okay. Check out. Okay. Check out. Alright. Pop that up there. Get that, get cake, get, just grab another one of those. Okay, give that to them, make the rose, check out. All right, okay, do that. And then we need one, two, three pieces of cake, and then that. There we go. Alright. Nice. Alright, let's make the balloon and get a mimosa. And get a Bloody Mary. Get the kid. Nice. I think a couple of them are like wanting double pictures. Okay, let's get the kid first. Alright, one, two, three. Nice. Why did the kids want a picture with her? I don't understand that part, but alright. Uh, funnily enough, I've had, so, a one time, after I graduated, um, I was, so, <laughs> so for, when I graduated high school, uh, a billion years ago. Um, I, uh, I had this beautiful blue dress that, clean that table. I had this beautiful blue dress that I wore and, um, we decided that after graduation we'd go to Taco Bell and there was a girl there that had to just take my picture. I don't know why, I didn't know her and, um, uh, yeah, she just came up to me and said, can I take your picture? And it was, very, very odd. Um, so yeah. All right. Episode 24. How many more episodes do we have? Oh, we only have two. So yeah, I think in the next part is when I will double up on the episodes. So I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you, my lovely little rose petals, in the last episode of Emily's Wonder Wedding. Thank you.